Boeing won a contract over an unnamed competitor to continue producing the replacement wings needed to keep about 10 Warthog attack planes flying into the early 2030s. The U.S. Air Force awarded Boeing an initial $240 million on August 21, which will go toward producing the first 27 wing sets, according to a statement from Boeing. The contract is worth up to $999 million if all options for 112 wing assemblies and 15 wing kits are exercised, enough to replace the wings on the remaining 109 A-10s. Although the contract is small in comparison to the multi-billion dollar contracts Boeing receives to produce combat aircraft, it could be interpreted as a sign of the Air Force's restored confidence in the company's ability to produce A-10 wings on time and on budget. Our established supply base, experience with A-10 structures, and in-depth knowledge of the U.S. Air Force's requirements will help us deliver high-quality wings to meet the customer's critical need," said Pam Valdez, Vice President of Air Force Services for Boeing Global Services. Boeing produced new wing sets for 173 A-10s, which were delivered between 2011 and 2018. However, near the end of the production contract, Boeing encountered difficulties in meeting the delivery schedule due to issues with a supplier who manufactured a composite part used in the construction of the wing panel. When asked last year why a follow-on contract for wing replacement hadn't been awarded to Boeing, Air Combat Command head Jen Mike Holmes said the Air Force wasn't convinced that was the best option. Our previous contract was with Boeing, and it kind of came to the end of its life for cost and other reasons, he explained in January 2018. It was a contract that wasn't really cost-effective for Boeing to produce wings under, and there were options there that we weren't sure we wanted to go do. So now, we're working through the process of getting another contract. On Friday, Holmes stated that he is unsure whether the cost and supply chain issues had been resolved, and referred those inquiries to the Air Force's acquisition wing. I'm pleased to report that we have negotiated a contract solution to re-wing the remaining attends, he said at an Air Force Association breakfast. My interest is in finding someone who can build those wings and get them out there at a reasonable cost. I'm confident that my partners in the AQ acquisition venture worked through it. The Air Force has committed to preserving six of its nine A-10 squadrons until 2030. The number of additional Warthogs it preserves will be dependent on how many wing sets the service ultimately decides to put on contract. In fiscal 2020, the service requested $132 million for the wing replacement program also known as the A-10 Thunderbolt I Advanced Wing Continuation Kit, or ATACK. With strong support for the effort in Congress, it received $109 million in FY18 and $168 million in FY19, according to FY20 budget documents. The award was hailed by one of the platform's biggest advocates, Republican Senator Martha McSally, the first female pilot to command a squadron of A-10s in combat. McSally represents Arizona, home of davis Monthan Air Force Base, where A-10s are stationed. I know how critical the Warthog is to our military's success in the air and on the ground, McSally said in a statement. I led the fight to keep the A-10 from being mothballed and to secure this re-winging funding, so it is good to see the contract awarded to start re-winging immediately, before any planes are grounded.